Nestled in historic downtown Apex, there's a place where you can experience the wonders of craft beer. Enjoy a wide selection of beers from North Carolina, the U.S., and around the world. And it's only at the Beer Dispensary. Hi, I'm Blaine. This is Dave. We're NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer Online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos and mention some of the great beers available across the state, maybe to a new brewer, a new brewery situation. You just never know what the NC Beer Guys might introduce you to. Some wide, wild freaking beer. You just never know. How about know. that? And speaking of wild <laughs> and, and high ABV and unusual and something you've got to pace yourself on. But we've been pre-informed that it was amazing. <laughs> That's right. So. We are today drinking the Drunken Vigils. American Double Imperial Stout or Breakfast Stout. They call it a Breakfast Stout. Depends on where you look. Uh, right beer, untapped. One of those places called it an American Imperial, but, American Double. But Breakfast Stout. Breakfast Stout out of Southern Pines Brewing Company of 565 Air Tool Drive, Sweet E in Southern Pines. You guys will remember that Southern Pines first started as an idea in the spring of 2013 as Micah, John, and Jason were at the midpoint of their military careers as Green Berets in the Army. And the three had owned brewed some in the past, enjoyed the social atmosphere that home brewing provided. After being reassigned to new jobs, they came up with the idea of starting their own business. After hearing an investor talk about their ownership in a local North Carolina craft brewery. So they spent the next year working on their new business plan, visiting many breweries as possible, increasing their knowledge of how to make beer. John and Micah took the Seawell Institute of Technology's concise course in brewing technology and then traveled out to San Diego to spend the time with the Central Quality Control course at White Labs. So while living out of an RV, they say, out of White Labs parking lot, I really wonder if that's really true. Did White Labs let them park in the parking lot? Never know. They were able to learn about the microbiology and chemistry of brewing from giants in the beer industry, like Chris White and Lynn Kruger. The training was critical for developing the practices used to start the brewery off on the right foot. So Southern Pines' first batch on their 15 barrel system was a uh, tap room opened in 2014. Beyond the production batch of beer that Southern Pines distributes is this, it is excited to continue to brew new artisanal batches of beer in its small 2.5 barrel pilot system, which is updated since I did this research. So this guy looks like he's hammered. <laughs> this, this month, or whatever this guy is. It's so what, what they say about the drunken vigil. I don't know. And this what is a 14% ABV. So we're yes. gonna so this we're is, gonna, this is... share one and save this one for a night when Dave really needs to get lit. <laughs> uh, drunken vigil. Drunken Vigils awakens the palate with a hint of porridge from oats and traditional floor malted grains, caramel and roasted malts with Ecuadorian cocoa, roasted notes of nougat and dark bitter chocolate. Locally roasted java from Cactus Creek Coffee complements an array of breakfast nostalgia. Bourbon and monastery yeast complement with decadent caramel and dark stone fruit flavors. Mm. Barrel Stave, barrel stave, let's read that together. <laughs> also impart a warming whiskey character. Ooh. Drunken Vigils is the perfect morning libation while on the porch awaiting spring. Yeah. Hi. If, if, if you're, you're a morning if, drinker, if, you're, if, if porch, you're drinking this in the morning, you're getting hammered for the morning and just enjoying the rest of the day sitting on the porch. You might just have, watching the world. You might have a craft beer problem. Yeah. If you're drinking. 14% in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We're all about drinking craft beer, but the, be reasonable about it. But wow. Yeah, it's they do great things to Southern Pines and, we, and as Dave said, we are so excited uh, to drink this beer. And the place, the place, if you get down to if you get down to the brewery, I mean all wood and the tap room, it's it's, it's a beautiful tap room out there. And then if they let you go back on the tour to mm -hmm. look at the facilities, it's really nice. Top of the you know yep. top of their game on that one. I think they're gonna do great things. No, I was going to say something. And I what were you going to say? You, you commented about this guy that is already Yeah, he's like, he, he, he's already beer. hammered. He's already hammered. Um, Wait till you get E-Rum on his beer. Oh, really? Yes. Like, Dave's a coffee drinker in the crowd. I'm not. But this is great coffee rum coming through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. It's not, it's not in your face enough aroma, but it's enough that you like. I don't know. It's pretty your coffee to me. I know. I mean, I'm getting coffee, but I've, I've had others that were like really 
as if it was coffee itself. This is a oh, nice, no, no, no. this has got a pleasant aroma, which is great for, co for great for beer. Yeah, if it was coffee, I'd set it back down. You know, yeah, that's okay. right. If it's beer, have an that one. Beer, coffee, right. ain't having that one. Okay, this is dangerous. Oh yeah, and it's I will so say it's dangerous. Smooth. It is so smooth. It, it, it it's almost light. I mean, it, it is, is not as heavy as you might think from right. the description. I mean, I'm, I'm drinking this like... it's not heavy yeah. either. I mean, this is wonderful, but 14%? I mean, you're going to be really... I mean, one can of this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. I mean, and that is total props to the brewing. I mean, to have that, that they've covered the... That you don't get the alcohol burn, and, and you've got actually, this great flavor... I don't get as much coffee flavor as do I do in the aroma. I get a lot more maltiness. Wow. I think this is just a great combination this for somebody like me who's not a big coffee fan. Yeah. This is excellent. I think this is great. This is like crazy smooth and easy to drink mm -hmm. and hence the word dangerous. dangerous. Really. Yeah, but that's... 15% ABV. Oh, uh, this... God. I, I, this is actually a, a new love because this is really amazing I saw for, what, for what you're getting delivered because we've had some of the high ABV beers and they're good I mean they're honestly good but this but some of them are is so, a new, this is a new level and some of them are so alcohol in your face that you almost can't drink them I mean right they're, they're too strong and too much right this is and not this it. is not this, this is, is not, not it at all now I have to say I had one guy we're, who, being, al we're being alarmed we're being alarmed it's not alarming I hope can't be your wife wanting you. She's sitting right off there. camera. We know if she wants you, she throws something at you. <laughs> um, I had I was reading doing the research this afternoon. One guy said, and he had to be wrong, on Untapped, the rate beer, one of the places where you drink beer and talk yeah. about it. He this could not be 14% because of how good it was and how smooth it was. And I'm a great big beer drinker and I know my our ABV. So they lied. And, oh yeah, so in pots I know what talking about. This must be like down in the five or six percent range. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. You, you, you can read anything. Yeah, that's... Beer ratings. And everybody, that just, has, everybody has their own opinion, and we're not putting anybody down for their opinion. No, but... But you sometimes know, you're just freaking wrong. There's an opinion, and then there's telling somebody that you're wrong, and that's not... That's true. right. That's right. Oh, it doesn't taste like 14%. Right. It does not. If I if I had this, I would think maybe 6 or 7 from the flavor. Well, that's what kind of what you but, that, but that's... But... It's not what it is. That's why it's dangerous because you're getting you're getting this great drink, and it's a great beer that they have a breakfast stout that is coming in at such a high ABV, and you're not getting slammed with no, the flavor a, of no, a high ABV. Right. You're not getting this great big alcohol burn, and then it's really heavy on you, and mm. all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is bad. This is gonna hit you. Yeah, you'd be tempted to drink one or two of these, and one or two of these is probably what well, not what you need in one. One or two. Yeah, one. Pace yourself a little yes. bit, please. That's right. Yep. Please. So again, our shout out to Southern Pines. Amazing beer. Get down there and do something besides golf. Go drink some beer. That's right. Southern Pines. What's golf? What's golf? Craft beer. <laughs> Come on. But if you are on a golf course down there, play some Southern Pines. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So, okay. so here you go. Go to the Southern, go go play golf down there with one of these. Just stop. You'll see your game get better. Yeah, see how your swing, <laughs> see how your swing improves after a couple of these. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. You'll think you're swinging for good then. Yep. For next time, this is David Glenn, NC Beer Guys, reminding you to drink local, mm -hmm. keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.